This is George. Well, actually, this is George. And today, George has just one mission. Get to the city of Whiterun in 35 seconds. Oh. Not exactly. I'll explain. See, George has a special condition. He is severely allergic to the outdoors. Not too uncommon from both myself and most of you watching this video. Unlike you or me though, George will actually die if he's outdoors for 35 seconds consecutively. So how is George supposed to get all the way to Whiterun in such a short amount of time? There's a dog. Hi dog. Hi puppy. Oh my gosh, those, oh my gosh. Ah, <laughs> damn it. It's right there. It's right under me. Today, I'm gonna be taking you along George's journey to discover as many locations as possible on Skyrim's map while only having 35 seconds to do so between each location. Excuse me, ma'am, I have an emergency. You gotta help me out. The sun's gonna kill me. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Is she looting me? Long story short, indoors, good, happy, comfortable. Outdoors, scary, hell, rain, fire, death. We'll try to see if it's even possible to get to White Run under these conditions, but most importantly, the goal is just to see what all George can accomplish while avoiding all outdoor activity and how many map markers he can discover along the way. Of course, like usual on the channel, George's journey starts with a simple, Hey, you, you're finally awake. Wait, guards, you don't know my condition. This isn't fair. Oh, oh, I get a notification. 23 seconds reached, so I have seven seconds. Guards? Uh, oh, no, no, there it goes. Will it just keep going? Oh, no, it'll stop. It just kicks me out to the main menu. If I just activate the mod while I'm in character creation, or while I'm just walking up in line, what will happen? I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Run, Lokir. Do it for everyone. Do it for chat. Run, Lokir. All right, seven seconds, here we go. That was kind of underwhelming. Don't worry, I don't have a lot of time left. I've calculated my heart attack. Five seconds, oh my God, I just saw a dragon. And execute. Sentries, what do you see? <laughs> I've given up. Okay, technically the mod can't be activated until George has full control of his body. So, dragon attacks, stuff explodes, 30 seconds on the clock. I know I said 35 at the start, we'll get there. And George begins his frantic run to get indoors or die trying. I, I think I should easily be able to get through this portion of the intro. The rest of the intro is indoors. Out of my way, excuse me, excuse me. Can I take the cheat way? No, oh God, okay, I've already screwed this up. I tried to go the shortcut. Oh my God, I only have seven seconds left. Hammond, you don't want to witness this. All right, all right, okay, that didn't work. Oh, for one. Some of these Get out of the way. Why is it not going? That took way too long. I'm screwed. Go Hammond. 23 seconds. Oh my God, I'm already out of time. I think I need more than 30 seconds to get through the intro. Shit. All right, so obviously the regular route through Helgen won't work. So George needs to innovate a bit by using a completely secret and not well known at all speedrunning route to reach the fort within the time limit. This is where George's training as a hip parkour street youth comes into play. As he'll need <laughs> This is where George's training as a hip parkour street youth comes into play. As he'll need incredible bounds to ride the outside of the first tower to make this route work. I got this. Get 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 out of the way, Rayloff. Oh, I really don't like that I have to wait here now. God damn, I can't hit that jump. Rayloff, you're telling me to be careful? Are you, a, are, you a, are you, what, this is rigged. There we go, there we go. Okay, we caught the wall. Oh, I don't even, I'm already at 23 seconds. Go, no, oh, we can do this. Okay, we can do this. I'm getting close. I got this. I just have to get up under the dragon's wing a little bit quicker. Go, 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 go! Don't stop running. Hit the jump. I gotta time my jumps and my sprints. Go, 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 go. Don't stop running. We're in! Whew! All right. Speedrun strats are actually effective. All right, he did it. George, you made it. He avoided the sunlight and the fresh air and is safe within the sanctity of the wet, humid, more than likely smelly fort. I'm a serious gamer, okay? You know, this might be the most normal Skyrim gameplay ever on the channel. Not too much of note throughout the intro dungeon, but think about this. 
What does George need the most upon gracing his skin with UV rays once he gets out of here? Stamina, that's right, so George can run faster and run longer. You're one for one on pop quiz questions today, prepare for more. Cheesing a level up before leaving should net George an extra 10 stamina points, easy to do by just letting a bear attack him and- Oh, this is not good, this is terrible, George! Oh no 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 no, that's bad. Bone break fever? No, 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 25 points of stamina? I, that, uh, that's not gonna work. Now I really need the level up. I need the extra stamina points. Oh, that's a really bad start. I don't know why I wasn't thinking of it. I wasn't expecting a bear to give me disease right away. All right, unsubscribe. I'm washed up. Our stamina is uh, five points less than where we started. Upon reaching the cave's exit, George is now faced with his greatest challenge yet. There's, I know there's a, there's caves. There's gotta be a cave close by. The closest and easiest to reach is a small cave called Ember Shard Mine. If you've ever played Skyrim, I'm sure you've been there. I'm perfectly willing to be corrected in this video too, so if you think you might know a better route, I'm George is all ears. I need to clarify real quick in post here, but if George discovers a location, he can fast travel back to it, but in order for it to count and to be used as a fast travel checkpoint, he'll need to find an interior location to take cover in within the same time limit that the location was discovered in. I think the mine I have to get to is this way. Sorry, Hadvar, not waiting. Definitely not playing on survival mode. Okay, there's a mine right here. We gotta try and go for it. I'm already out of stamina. I have one stamina potion. Shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know if I can get there. There's a dog. Hi, dog. Hi, puppy. Oh my gosh, those, oh my gosh. Ah, <laughs> damn it. It's right there. It's right under me. This is significantly harder than I thought it'd be for old Georgie here. To save some frustration, I opted to help him out by transforming him from a weak, frail Breton to a strong, hardy Redguard. The Adrenaline Rush ability should give George just that extra bit of sprinting he needs to leapfrog his way to the next checkpoint. Come on, George. You and me to the end. We got this. 23 seconds, seven left. No! No! Ah, oh, I can't even land at the entrance of the cave. <laughs> How close was I? I think I gotta take a more direct route. I'm not taking a good route. 23 seconds. This is our best run so far. It's right there. Oh. No, 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 I can't let fall damage take me out. That wasn't fall damage, that was just time. Oh, I screwed it up there. I screwed this up. I'm already going in the wrong direction. Oh. Okay, again, maybe it won't be so easy, but don't do not make fun of George. He's trying, all right? We'll give him one more lifeline and extend his time limit outdoors to 35 seconds, but that's it. No more lifelines. From now on, it's just George, his legs, and the memory of his family taken from him at a young age that has him continuing his father's mission of killing the son. Oh, get out of my way, dog. Okay, stamina gone. We make the jump, 27 seconds. We have seven left. It's not good enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm right there. God damn it, it's so close. I can see. Moving along. Adrenaline rush active. Energy is coming back to us. Come on, come on. Good, good, good recovery. You're, you're good, you're good, you're good. Get inside. No! God damn it, George, we're right there. We're at the door. I'm not giving up. I don't I don't want any more of these accusations of giving up, okay? This is a character assassination. Yeah, no. <laughs> come on, George. This is it. The people are watching. They expect greatness. Don't give me, don't give me the warning. That's not what I needed. There it is. There's the warning. There's the you suck message. Oh my gosh, I'm so close. Can I fall through the little posts? Gotta keep an eye on that stamina bar. I can't let it run out. If it runs out, runs dead. Hit a little speed boost off that cliff. We can kind of sprint while in midair. Traffic in the way, move it, dog. Go, 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 go. Got about an extra second on this run. Can I go through the hole? No! Oh my god, it was there! Oh my god. Oh, I thought I had it. I was feeling it. Oh, I felt it. I sensed it. Run's dead. I didn't hit the sprint button soon enough. No. Run is not dead. It's not dead till I say it's dead. Now it's dead. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Okay. Actually, we have good timing here. Good timing, decent. Let me get through. Let me through. Mmm, baby, come on now. Woo! All right, we're in. 
Well, after all that hard work, our boy George has discovered one location, but hey, that still points on the board. The exit of this cave gets us closer to Riverwood. That's right, even better. Embershard Mine has a backdoor exit that places George just a bit closer to Riverwood, meaning the only thing standing between George and a good shot at Riverwood with all of its hot, sexy interior locations is plain old regular Skyrim gameplay. You won't get the best of me. Come on, George. Right through town. Nice and easy. You got this, buddy. I'm getting into your house. I don't care. I'm breaking in. We can reset the timer. Just break into Sven's house right in front of his face. Crap, I got a bounty. Are they gonna attack me? Please forgive me, Sven. Do you have any cure disease potions in here? Well, you have gold. I'm taking that. Riverwood discovered. That's two points for George. Now, luckily, whether they want him here or not, it's pretty easy for George to bounce from place to place in this town. The loot from the first cave affords him some stamina potions in case of emergency and even a cure disease to get rid of that nasty fever he caught trying to cheat the system. The best suggestion anyone had for getting our friend to Whiterun was to simply get arrested by a guard. Only issue is that the guards don't patrol Riverwood until a certain point in the story, and the close closest guards are by Haunting Brew Meadery, which is right down the river, but no way this works. By the time I even get the river to launch me, I'm gonna be out of time. I'm too slow in the water right here. When I said this was the run, by the way, I was lying to everybody. I didn't even get to the jump. We made about no progress. Here's where we are on the map. Here's where we ended up. Here's where we needed to be. Not even close. Well, it's certainly a breath of fresh air for George to be able to freely walk about a little bit. This is where his journey started to feel a little bit desperate. Whatever, yeah, screw it. Let's just take off our clothes. We'll be more aerodynamic that, uh, maybe I should have done this outside of your house. He can't go down the river, can't find a guard to haul him to the White Run Jail, can't even freely strip in front of a family of four. In almost all directions leaving Riverwood, it's impossible to find an interior location in the time limit, but the looming presence of Bleak Falls Barrow towering over the city provides a side objective that's just too tempting to pass up. I know there's a few places right across the river we might have time to get to. Let's try and get to this house over here across the river. Oh, that river is fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get up. It's just geometry. It's it's rocks. It's it runs dead. Runs dead. Quick, unfollow. I can get there. Nice and easy. Right across the river, up some rocks. Don't ask questions. Don't ask for permission. Don't deal with any pleasantries. Don't even say hello. Just run into her basement. Come on, George. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Gotta get in the basement. Basement, basement. God, it's, oh my God, it's in the corner. I just missed it. She didn't even have time to recognize who I was or see that a strange naked man just ran right through her yard. Sorry about the petunias. I need to get into your basement. Don't ask questions. I'll be out soon. Run's dead. Back left corner of the house. Right, get over the rock. How do we struggle with rock still? Seven seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, we're in. Taking cover in Anissa's basement not only gives George three points on the board, but it helps him fulfill a lifelong bucket list item of going down on an old lady. <laughs> now with Bleak Falls Barrow in sight, George can do what no Skyrim player has done before. Attempt really awkward rock climbing by spamming the jump button at different angles. 35 seconds, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Super mountain climbing. Seven seconds. Run's dead. <laughs> don't run, don't. <sighs> Who makes the rules for how jumping and rock climbing works here? I want to talk to the manager. Maybe there's a better angle. Yeah, that's a better angle. Okay, way, way, way easier from there. Come on. Ooh, we're right there. We're on the edge. This right here. This little bastard of a jump. I can't figure it out. Yeah, my favorite philosopher is Jared Lego. I mean, that's the route. I have the jump. <gasps> go, we got the jump. Go, go, no, 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 no. Don't do it to me. Seven seconds. I don't have enough time. Oh, that is so sad. No. Oh, my God. The jump is somewhere in here. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? That was so much easier than last time. Did I make the jump and I just forgot to turn around? I will not be conquered. I will conquer the rock. Bunch of random Dwayne Johnsons will not stifle me. They will not crush us. There we go. That's the jump. 
Okay, that's the jump. Too much playing around. I missed it. How am I missing it? Right there. Bring it over and then there. Swing wide. Swing wide. Keep jumping. Am I high enough? I am. Go. No, no. Why is there an invisible wall? Why? That just ruined the whole fucking thing. Oh my God. Jump it. God damn it. I wasn't high enough. Oh, it's Skyrim content has officially evolved to the point where we are trying to find the dumbest and fastest route to go from one cabin up several random rocks into Bleak Falls. I didn't even know that this route existed. Come on, I had it, man. I'm right at the end. Sorry, sorry, apologies, but come on, fuck you. Yeah, that's right, stupid ass geode. They're minerals. Nah, nah. They're fucking rocks, Hank. They're rocks. 27 seconds. They're not minerals. They're rocks. They're nothing special. No, oh, and they just got conquered. Come on. Woo! You hear that enthusiasm? I was really convinced it wouldn't happen. But would you look at old Georgie now? Master of rock. Soothsayer of stone. Czar of mineral. Now that George has surpassed the most painful rock climbing experience of his life and gained access to Bleak Falls Barrow, he can make his way through to the back door entrance and hope that allows a new path to a new location. Of course, standard Skyrim gameplay first though. Joke's on you guys, this is now a stealth archer playthrough. That was the coolest fucking kill I've ever had in Skyrim. That was genuinely the coolest shit I've ever done. <laughs> I didn't think it would work. The exit to Bleak Falls places George here. A short run to the west puts him into South Brittleshin Pass. That leads to and discovers North Brittleshin Pass. Might be cheap, but that's two more points for six in total now. Further to the west and easily reachable is another fort slash dungeon, fungin, whatever you want to call it. But after an easy seventh point, all hope seemed lost again. North Brittleshin Pass has next to nothing for quite a long way. No guards in sight to try and tie George up, no caves or cabins within reach. This is a massive buzzkill because the other option is to try and head south from Illinalta's Deep and cross the lake in any way possible. No shot, this is not gonna work. Come on, George. Seven seconds. <laughs> Can I at least just get to this rock? I want refuge. I wanna die, you know, with some honor. Ah, oh, spinning death animation, that doesn't count as honor. Oh, it's so wide. Ooh. I wish hiding under under this little uh, camp saved us. Excuse me, ma'am, I have an emergency. You gotta help me out, the sun's gonna kill me, I'm gonna die. Oh. <laughs> Is she looting me? There's a standing stone right... Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's what we're gonna do. I got the sauce. I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try and discover that standing stone and run back here and get back inside. Then I would say I can unlock that place. I'm going against the current too much. Seven seconds. Three, two, no, oh my gosh, we're right there. Oh. Oh, hold on. Hold on, we got some sprint in midair action. I'm already at 27 seconds though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, we got it. Holy crap, we actually got in. No way. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is it, George's final test. With the stone checkpoint unlocked and eight points on the board, all George has to do is leapfrog his way to the nearest town, shack up in a house, and the possibilities are endless. Maybe he can get to Falkrave, a new camp. What lies ahead once reaching this new safe zone? What seemed impossible before is now all too real given George's new air sprinting ability he unlocked by accident. Good luck, George. We're all rooting for you, buddy. Ah, oh, this little jump right here, I gotta get that perfect. 27 seconds. Oh, I can't go in there. Do they have a basement in here? No, there's no basement in here. All right, well, I'm gonna die. God fucking... Sorry. Oh, there's like a two inch thing that stops me right there. 27 seconds already. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not gonna make it. God damn it. 
I have to, I can't get stuck on that rock. It costs me two to three seconds each time. There we go. We got one of the sprints. Runs dead. Oh my God, it's so frustrating. There we go. There we go. There we go, good start, good start. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 27 seconds, we got it. Nailed it. See, I knew I was burning so much time there. What if I ran out of lock picks right here? <laughs> You're not supposed to be in here. I don't care. Are you a vampire? Get out, or I'll call the guards. <laughs> the guards? You mean the same guards that can safely escort George out of here away from the outdoors and into the underground jail safely away from the sun and the outside? I'm not going to warn you again. Get out. Help! Trespasser! The kettle pot seems to have calmed her down. You can't hide from me. Oh, oh yes I can. <laughs> I'm hiding right now. Oh. I knew I'd oh god, she's countered our kettle. All right. I didn't want him to go this way. Yeah, unfortunately, much like Riverwood, there are no guards here either. Nine points are on the board, and George can secure his 10th point by heading to the only reachable indoor location nearby if he heads west towards a rather unique cave. I think I got it. Hello? You. Got it. All right, we're in. I'm not worried about your quest. Excuse me? Oh. Excuse me? Does this cave count as outdoors? No, 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 no. Okay, at, at least don't do the spinny animation. Now your sword's going up your butt. Don't do the spinny animation. It's just embarrassing. At least die in a cool way. 